Rogue Legacy 2 is everything I want from a sequel. Just like the first game, every run has a randomly generated castle layout. Once your character dies, you choose one of their next of kin that come with their own unique quirks and traits. Then you spend any money you earned on permanent upgrades and go on to your next run. However, in this second game, everything has been improved upon. Every class has its own unique weapon now, which changes gameplay so much. The Ranger actually has a bow that can be aimed freely, for example. It feels so badass to shoot enemies in midair, in combination with their unique Ranger trait that allows you to create a platform wherever you want. Another example would be the Barbarian. They have a cool spinning aerial attack and a screen that freezes all enemies and projectiles. On top of the persistent class abilities, every character has the chance to come with some unique traits. Some can be pretty harmless, like IBS which just causes you to fart every now and again, while others can be a little bit of a nuisance, like being colorblind or suffering from panic attacks, which means your screen gets blurry when you take a hit, while others can be quite detrimental, like not allowing you to heal off of meat because you're vegan. No! Did you see that? Or simply being a pacifist, which means you can't attack. However, the cool thing here is that depending on how annoying the trait is, you'll receive a higher gold bonus upon picking up treasure. After every run, you can spend gold on permanently upgrading your own castle, which comes with unlocking new classes, giving you more health, or allowing you to carry heavier armor and weapon upgrades. You also have the option to spend your gold at nearby shops, like the blacksmith that can upgrade your gear if you bring him blueprints, or the enchantress that can give you perks like dealing damage back to enemies that hurt you, or give you an extra double jump. Either way, you should spend all your gold before starting your next run, because the mysterious hooded figure that takes you to the enemy castle has a fee, and that fee is all of your gold. No matter how much you're holding, we'll go to him. Moving on to combat, it feels better than ever. Melee attacks feel powerful, and spells look so cool. There's a nice variety of spells that make them quite unique, while also actually being useful. Just like the first game, there are also small challenges sprinkled here and there. You might find a small chest that will reward you for taking a second to think how you approach a room. There are also bigger secret rooms now called Insights that teleport you to a preset number of challenges that you need to overcome. Once you complete them, you'll earn permanent upgrades like the ability to dash, which can change the game completely. Now the only issue I have with the game is that in its current state, it lacks content. There's only one complete biome, and only a handful of classes. The game is releasing in early access with plans to release major content updates every two months and smaller ones in between, with a complete release a year down the line. While everything that's in the game is super enjoyable and does still provide hours of fun, I've decided that I'll be putting the game down until it gets more content so I don't get tired of the gameplay loop. Depending on when you're watching this video, there might be a varying amount of content, so take a look into that before making a decision. Well, regardless of the amount of content though, I'm very happy with the direction the game is going in. It feels great in every gameplay aspect, the visuals are really pleasant to look at, and the music is awesome. I highly recommend it if you enjoyed the first one. Thank you for watching everybody, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and if you want to discuss it or any other games, there's a link in the description to join my Discord server. If you want to pick up the game for yourself, there's a link in the description, and I'll see you next time.